Today we're going to be asking ChatGPT what the top five best graffiti markers, mobs, and paint sticks are. And we're going to be doing this to basically see if ChatGPT really knows anything about the sort of underground graffiti world and the tagging community. And here's how we're going to evaluate if it does well or not. Now on the channel here over the years, we've done the top five graffiti markers for wet surfaces, top five graffiti markers for winter, top five graffiti markers for freight graffiti, one of my favorites was the top five most versatile graffiti tools you can use. And basically, if ChatGPT names a marker on any of those lists that we did and has a good reason for it, we can give it a check mark. Aside from that, basically any graffiti implement it could possibly name, I've probably used for more than a decade at this point. So I can at least also tell you guys if I personally agree with the choice or not, or if I at least think it's reasonable. So let's go. Hello, ChatGPT. GPT. Hello, what are the top five V markers, mops, and paint sticks? Okay, so here is what it's saying. It gives us a nice little opener here. When it comes to graffiti art, the tools you can use greatly influence the outcome of your work. Graffiti artists have their preferences based on factors like opacity, durability, it's really nice that it included those two actually because those are obviously very important. We talk a lot about permanence here on the channel in our graffiti reviews. Durability is conducive to that. Color range and ease of use. Here's a rundown of some of the top graffiti markers, mops, and paint sticks known for their quality and popularity in the street art community. It's uh, struggling with the difference between street art and graffiti a little bit, but that's fine. So ChatGPT split its standard into three sections here. One for markers, one for mops, and then one for paint sticks. That's actually sort of cool. So first it did the markers. So it chose three markers here. Number one, the Montana acrylic markers. Now I'll be able to show you most of these. I don't have any Montana ones on hand, but I'll show you the other ones. Known for their high quality paint and durability, Montana acrylic markers are a favorite among artists. They offer a wide range of colors, tip sizes, making the versatile for detailed work and large fill-ins. So Montana acrylic paint markers are markers. Uh, I don't really think that in any capacity they're known as being a cut above most other brands or anything like that. And and I don't think their paint is known for being particularly permanent, but then, then again, what paint exactly is. If a human said this answer, I would be fine with it as one of their favorite markers. Not exactly top five material in my opinion though. The second one it chose is the Molotov one for all acrylic markers. It says these markers are highly regarded for their UV resistance and vibrant colors. The one for all series is refillable and can be used on almost any surface making them a staple for many graffiti artists. I will say this, I used one for all markers almost exclusively for like all my canvas work for years and years and years. I still use a lot of them today. The reason I sort of stopped using them as exclusively as I was using them was just because I found their valve systems to have a little bit of issues on occasion. A lot of that has to do with the heavy levels of pigmentation that Molotov paint has that they fill the one for all markers with. So you do really have to shake these markers. That being said, I think that's actually a great choice and it is perfectly arguable for a top type of graffiti marker. The number three paint marker, remember specifically that it chose here was the Crank K60 paint markers. Crank markers are known for their unique drippy effect, which is a signature look for many graffiti and street artists. K60 marker offers a wide range of colors and especially popular for its opacity and glossy finish. That is why K60s are popular, um, but the K60 is, is very much a mop and not a marker as we are all aware. And this one doesn't really make sense to me because as much as some people do really love Crank and especially actually their paint. Crank is probably the brand that gets the most hate out of any specifically graffiti brand out there. And most of that is because of their exorbitant prices that they charge and not offering refills, etc. So I think Jet GPT screwed this one up a little bit. I actually made a whole video talking about how Crank is so good at sort of exploiting graffiti artists and doing what it can to get their money on the sort of economic side of things. It's a really interesting one to check out. If you want to check it out, you can check it in the corner. By the way, any video I mention in this video, you can check the description for for all of those videos that I mentioned. So you'll see that one in the description, hovering around where our merch link is as well if you wanna check that out and get yourself some graffiti merch. So onto the mops. 
Number one, the Krimke 66 steel tip marker. This marker combines the features of a traditional marker with those of a mop, offering a durable steel tip that works well on rough surfaces. It's known for creating smooth, consistent lines and is refillable. So I think it's cool the way that ChatGPT decided to justify a K66 choice like this. Obviously the K66 is not a mop either, and I didn't really ask for steel tips in the question, but they are an important part of the tagging community. That being said, the K66 in particular, out of all the steel tip graffiti markers that I have used, tried out, and talked about with you guys in other videos, this one is one of the most flimsy, I think. So it's definitely not the choice that I would have gone with if you're going to include one steel tip in particular, which it only included one. The second mop here, Grog Squeezer Mini 10 FMP. That's full metal paint for those of you who don't know. The Grog Squeezer is famous for its high flow and soft body, allowing artists to create bold lines and drips. It comes in a variety of colors and is perfect for making a statement on any surface. I actually really like the way ChatGPT that making a statement on a surface that is a very sharp way to sum up what tagging and and the getting upside of graffiti actually is I, I think that's really cool the second thing I want to say about this is grog specifically as a brand is not a well-known brand outside of the graffiti community so just the fact that it knows about grog in any respect within our graffiti community here and with respect to graffiti mobs I think that's a big win for chat GPT already anyone who has seen my list of favorite graffiti mobs and such knows that I'm a huge fan of specifically these mini sizes of the Grog Squeezers. They come filled with a full metal paint. That's what the FMP is referencing. It's talking about this one, the 10 FMP, 10 millimeter nib. That's the standard nib size. It's also the nib size that the Crink K60 comes with. The full metal paint in particular, I'm a huge fan of. It's a very thick thick paint, which I, I really enjoy personally. The only thing I do want to warn you about the uh, full metal paint in particular is that some of the colors stand up better than others. They have a lot of different colors you can get. We did do a full surface tagging test with every single nib size of the Grog Squeezers. So if you want to see what I mean about the different colors, check that video out and you'll see pretty much as soon as we start the test. But overall, I have to say I totally agree with ChatGPT on this one in particular. I've been saying for years and years that these Grog Squeezer minis are a hell of a lot of fun. They're carryable as a graffiti writer and they're they're a lot of fun. And now ChatGPT is backing me up on that. So, you know, am I right or am I right, right? So onto the paint sticks now here. ChatGPT chose two paint sticks and honestly, I respect it. The first one it chose, Markal B paint sticks. You guys already know. You already know. These solid paint markers are highly pigmented, offering long-lasting marks on virtually any surface, including metal, wood, plastic, and glass. Their durability and resistance to weather and UV light make them a go-to for outdoor graffiti work. Guys, what can I say? What have I told you guys time and time again? I have preached enough about how I feel about these beautiful Mark Albee paint sticks. The outer sleeve looks a little different on the Mark Alls nowadays. I just bought so many at once that I essentially don't need to buy Mark Alls for a long, long time. Whenever we do talk about Mark Alls in a video, I include a link in the description to where you can buy a bulk pack of them because they're one of the cheapest solid sticks and graffiti tools in general you can get on the market. They really do write on anything and you can save even more buying them in bulk. Now this one was very close to the top of specifically my ranking of solid paint sticks as well as on our list of best graffiti tools you can use for freight graffiti and these really have been a staple for freight graffiti for a long 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 time there's a reason they're called hobo markers if you know your history a little bit so really chat gpt absolutely nailed this one i think and the number two at last paint stick it chose here was sakura solid markers also known as streaks sakura solid markers glide smoothly on surfaces and are known for their semi-permanent marks they're great for a wide range of temperatures and surfaces now a lot of people would pick up a sakura solid paint stick over a markle specifically every single day of the week 
I am not one of those people, but again, I totally respect it. And I think any list of the best solid sticks you can get in graffiti should include these Sakura solid markers. They're a great choice. So again, ChatGPT nailed this one. So I actually think that ChatGPT nailed the last three choices on its little list that it generated for us here. And even one or two of the other four could be arguable. I definitely wasn't expecting the classy Grog Minima picks and the, uh, the Marco Bees to be on there, so that was a nice surprise, and again, very classy, I think, by ChatGPT there. If you guys do want me to put ChatGPT to the test some more and ask it some more intricate questions about how graffiti works and that sort of thing, so we can get a better idea for what it knows about graffiti, let me know in the comments, and hey, maybe we can do some more of these videos. I just thought it would be a fun one. But if you want to see not a ChatGPT list, but a human-generated list by me of the worst graffiti markers to avoid at all costs in the graffiti game. You can check that video out on screen right now. That one's a good one to see. Just again, it's the worst markers I have used over the 15 years I've been dabbling in the graffiti world here, and that'll help you avoid those ones. Again, thank you to the patrons on our Patreon page helping us out. I appreciate you all. I'll see you in that video soon. Peace.